I'm going to the Amazon in April. They just want to play with each other. What? Oh, yeah, sir. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today I'm in good old Florida. I'm from Texas, but I'm in Florida. Me and my manager Chris are here hanging out with Jacob and Otters and I'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for. So enjoy today's video. So we've been friends for like, probably like a year now, right? Close to that? I'd say like that. Yeah. I'm gonna give massive credit to Jacob here because this is like his thing, but this is coral. Little baby Asian small claw otter. I'm getting <laughs> bottle fed right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you see right there? I'm like rubbing the side of her face. So in her mind, that's another otter trying to compete for the, really? for the yeah, so hi, Hi. Okay, so I don't, I, this isn't my thing at all, but this is Jacob's thing, so everybody, please go check out Jacob's channel. Okay, so yeah, so you guys couldn't just go out and get an otter. You have to have a license for one of these things. He's obviously, he knows how to handle an otter. I don't. One thing that otters love to do is they like to go in your mouth. Ah. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Dude, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. So are they just making those noises just because they like, want attention? Yeah. My, like, it's so tubby. Oh. Haven't they been falling out of trees because of the cold? He's about 30 years old. Oh my goodness. Well, that's what it's like to live in Florida. So so everybody has an idea. This is Jacob's backyard. Yeah, I don't, I've never done anything like this. Like I've, not, I've never been able to play with baby otters. It's pretty cool. We got some big turtles in there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them. Never mind. <laughs> There's one of them. Goodness. Right? Big girl. That's, that's, that's cool. My girlfriend wants ferrets so bad, bro. Bro, why? I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see, you're, yeah. Hi. He will take your finger off, Max. That'll be fantastic yeah. content, though. That thing is moving. I don't think you're gonna fit. Never mind. You you barely fit. <laughs> so like tortoises like that. I was, I just asked Jacob. I was like, how long do they live? They live a, a couple, couple hundred, hundred years, years, guys. I think the same Galapagos tortoise that Steve Irwin had was also owned by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin found it, and then uh, Steve Irwin owned that one too, bro. How long was how long is it alive? I don't know, like three hundred. Is it probably years? still alive it, now? I, it died. Oh man, yeah. three hundred years. Three. Three hundred. Three hundred. That's a lump. Three hundred. This is the the garage. It's a little terrapin turtle right here that I got as a Christmas gift from my boss or oh. ex boss. Ex boss. A little diamondback terrapin. Oh. Little guy. We're just gonna put him in here. Looks nice and tasty. I mean, yeah. So, so these are all babies from the big ones outside. So some of the ones you saw outside, they these are babies from them. Gotcha. Not for sale. There is that you. Hey there, buddy. Hi. Take this leaf. It's it's good. Take it. Take it. Take the leaf. Take it. Why aren't you taking it? It's right there. There you go. Don't miss it. Come on. Come on. What the? He's looking at it. He's analyzing it from the side. Larry, take the leaf. Larry, I'm not going to scratch you with the leaf. Freaking eat it. And then, is that another red foot? That's another red foot that I thought was a little sick, but I think he's he's going to be just all right, so he's just hanging out in here for a couple days. This is a little quarantine time. Exactly. See another this baby red foot right there. Oh. We got a red foot tortoise right there. Hi. A nice shell scratch. Isn't that right? Oh, hi. That's Jarquavius right there. Oh, yeah. Look at you. It's a radiated tortoise critically endangered from Madagascar. What the? Those are smaller ones of those. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See, I'm putting pieces together. Yes, oh, man. Yes, for all of you guys, I do fish stuff. I, I make I make fish but, but related no, videos. I'm sure you don't see this kind of crazy tortoises and uh, no. iguanas and all kinds yeah, of that. That right. one's from Madagascar and it's rare. Hi, fella. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Jesus. You want to come at me? Oh my goodness! Okay. I, I, I caught that down here. That's a wild caught red tail boa. What? If you guys aren't in the rap industry, I'm not. But if you don't know who Lil Pump is, I'm not gonna show you guys this because this is Jacob's video. But his snake, roll the clip. Bit Lil Pump. And uh, Jacob's gonna go into depth on how all that happened. His video. Yeah, guys, go to the channel. And, and guys, my next video is going to be uh, on how my snake bit Lil Pump. It's not a joke. <laughs> I saw that video. Yeah, yeah. my snake. I had no idea that was your snake. Yeah, guys, so this is the otter pool right here, so we're gonna be filling this up right here. This is where we do the catch, clean, and cook on the otters. No, no, no. No, oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. No, you set that down. The otter's pool right here. This is sick. I want one of these pools. Right. I use this for myself. Going Maybe take baths, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, roll the roll the time lapse of us. Yeah, yeah, we're going yeah. to Oh, uh, man, and, this uh, is about to explode. Hi 
Mine's we got our way. officer filled up. We got the pool ready. We got about like, uh, it's on an angle. So like this is a little more shallow here. And then over there it gets a little bit. Probably like five inches, something like, like that. Yeah. I'd say around that, yeah. Like, yeah. So, they're about uh, to have a blast. They're going to have a blast, bro. So let's, uh, let's go get the otters. Yeah. Guys, you ready to go swimming? Dude, they're so, so cute. cute. The best part about really? So like, yeah. They just want to play with you? Yep. This is Hazel. So bad. Not only does she want to eat them, but she also wants to play with them. Yeah, she Look at them. What? They follow you You're like kidding, them. bro. No way. Coral Caspi. Dude, I don't even guys, understand. Bro. No, guys, guys, we... Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi, kiddo. Hi. The other one's coming. The other one's coming. Hi. Oh, my goodness, bro. Hey. Hey, they're, dude. They're so cool, right? Oh my, how big do they get? They get big. Like, like that. Oh. Full oh. So not that big. Oh, <laughs> not, yeah. That's solid baby, four feet. This way. Let's go. We're going swimming. They know. It's like they're like freaking prepared. Oh my goodness. Go. No, this don't. Way, this way. This way. Come on, baby. Okay, oh my so goodness. Go. Put them in. There they go. Oh my. Bro, they're so precious. Right? Oh my goodness. Wow. Dude, they're probably loving life right now. Oh my goodness. How cool is bro, this, bro? They are so cute. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dude, they are straight vibing. So you, you feed them fish, right? So right now they're on bottles, but they're slowly going to be weaned onto fish and carrot really? diet. Will, yeah. you, will you ever put like live fish in here and let them kind of hunt them down? Because this water is perfectly fine. Let's see if they see the fish. Oh my goodness. Oh. So if you look at their fur, their fur is like specially designed to be real slick with their body. Yeah. That allows them to propel through the water real fast. You can see that it's very streamlined with their body. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They just want to play with each other. Yeah, so if you guys ever get a license for an otter somehow, if you if you manage to do that, don't get one unless you're going to sleep with it, eat with it, take it to the grocery store with you. Other than that, get two of them just like this because they want to play. Guys, That's all they want to do is exactly, play. Right? See, it's it's like a it's like a special edition ferret. Right? You exactly. know? They are the world's smallest otter. They're not going to be bad. small. I can tell you that. So, hopefully you guys loved Wait, the little what? otters. I'm going to run a time lapse. You just see us playing with them. Guys, so this is their least favorite part right now. We're drying them off after they went swimming. Thankfully, otters like dry off super easily just because of their nature, just of being always wet. So they need to be able to dry off real quickly. See, look, I've only been drying them off for like 10 seconds and look. Oh my gosh, totally it's dry. freaking dry. dry. What? Totally. Dude. Oh, he's just cuddling. I know, yes, yes. Bro. Hi. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, yo, actually. Yeah. Guys, look at the otters. They actually have web feet. That's going to help them propel through the water, move through real fast. Ah! See, they want to eat you. Literally. <laughs> He's trying to eat my mouth. Hi. 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 All right. Uh, oh. All right. Your turn, homie. That dude's eating my chain earlier. It's a little wet. You see, when they're separated, she's just she's crying for him. Oh. That's neat. It's an otter box. Okay, I've been here before, but the audio will always and forever be bad. But I'm with some freaking massive fish. For starters, you literally have fish like like this, like that. Like, I, I kid you not, that is bigger than me. Both of these are bigger than me. And that is what they, oh, see, they think I'm food. All of these are, I mean, you do not find fish like this. That's a peacock bass, that is insane. We got a massive pool pond. We've got this tank right here, which is absolutely freaking, I mean, look at that arowana. Stingrays, the giant garami, and then this is, this. I love this tank. Look at all these albino arowanas. And there's little itty bitty stingrays right there. I absolutely love this thing. Of course, you're never gonna run out of arowana. These are sturgeon if you don't know how big these things get well here's a video of one jumping what? yes that's that fish albino oscars tiger shovel nose the world's stubbiest gar and one of the most rare gars you can find i mean that is you don't you don't see any of these ever and then just tanks on tanks on tanks of rare fish i kid you not this place is absolutely wild 
This is the type of videos I try and make, but like they've got these peacock bats. They have freaking ev they literally have everything. This is tanks on tanks. That's albino peacock bass. I'm pretty sure my buddy Joey Slam caught that. And then you've got albino or platinum red tails. And of course the iconic tank. Everybody knows this thing. This is on social media everywhere. I absolutely love this tank. I have hand fed it many times, taken very iconic pictures in front of that, but it is the move. It is insane. Here's more of your classic fish like koi and all that good stuff. And I mean, look at this. I mean, there is a massive, uh, oh my. That is wild. That is literally wild. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I know this, this is, this is kind of cool. I don't normally do animal videos as much. It's a lot of fish videos, stuff like that. But if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button down below. You can follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. I really want to change my Instagram to just Brenton because that's my name or just fanatic. Two other people have those taken and I can't get a hold of them. But if you guys want to help me, you're, you're welcome to. But yeah, if you guys went on to enjoy today's video, click the like button, click the notification bell. And if you have any other videos, ideas, or suggestions like this, or you want me to make more otter videos and come back out here and hang out with Jacob and all that stuff, let me know because we've been friends for probably about a year now. So that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed and I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.